Dear students, welcome back to this channel. This topic is reset operations, sleep mode and configuration bits for a uh, PIC microcontroller 18F. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Draw the generalized block diagram representing reset operations or explain various reset operations for PIC microcontroller. So this is the generalized block diagram. As the name indicates, reset means the microcontroller will be reset to zero and then it will start from some default value. So we'll discuss the different resetting operations. First is MCLR bar. I'm talking about this point. It is manually reset operation. So as the name indicates, it is manually resetting. It is used to manually reset the microcontroller. After reset, the microcontroller starts at some default address that is 0000H. This is called reset vector address. Next is POR that is power on reset. I'm talking about this point. It is related to VDD rise. VDD is the supply voltage given to the microcontroller. There is some threshold level. There is some reference level. If VDD crosses that reference level, then resetting should be done. So power on reset is generated when VDD rise is above the threshold level. Actually, this information you will get from reset control register. We have last video mein discuss the Archon register. So if uh, POR bit in Archon register is 0, it indicates that power on reset has been occurred. If it is 1, it indicates power on reset is not occurred. User manually reset it to 1 to capture the multiple events. So if we have power on reset, we can manually ye, uh, 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 bit 1 kar sakte so that we can uh, take a judgment of uh, occurrently occurring uh, this uh, power on reset condition. Next is power up timer that is PWRT. So on power up through POR, matlab ek bar power on reset ho gaya, to uske baad power up karenge hum log a microcontroller, matlab start ho gaya microcontroller. Then PWRT that is power up timer, this supplies a fixed nominal time out. Matlab ek time period, ek delay aisa soch lo, ek delay supply kiya jayega, ek bar ये कंडीशन ऑकर हो गया पावर ऑन रीसेट हो गया तो माइक्रोकंट्रोलर फिर से स्टार्ट होगा एट दैट टाइम सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ डिले इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट इज डन बाय पावर ऑफ टाइमर इट ऑपरेट्स ऑन इंटरनल आरसी ऑसिलेटर सो दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ पावर ऑफ टाइमर टिल पीडब्ल्यूआरटी दैट इज पावर ऑफ टाइमर इज एक्टिव माइक्रोकंट्रोलर इज इन रीसेट कंडीशन मतलब जब तक ये डिले कंप्लीट नहीं होता है तब तक माइक्रोकंट्रोलर विल बी अंडर रीसेटिंग कंडीशन नेक्स्ट इज ऑसिलेटर स्टार्टअप टाइमर एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स आफ्टर पीडब्ल्यूआरटी डिले मतलब ये एक टाइप का डिले प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं हम लोग आफ्टर पीडब्ल्यूआरटी डिले ऑसिलेटर प्रोवाइड्स 121024 ऑसिलेशन साइकल्स फ्रॉम ऑसिलेटर 1 it gives guarantee that crystal oscillator is stabilized. Matlab just ki crystal oscillator stabilized ho gaya. Now it, its functioning will be normal after uh, setting up the mic, after starting the microcontroller once the reset condition is over. So to get the guarantee, this oscillator startup timer is used. So these are the few timers as far as this reset, I mean few reset conditions as far as this block diagram is concerned. Now let us discuss remaining reset conditions. Actually, जो हम लोगों ने discuss किया, uh, that is about uh, PWRT, that is power on reset and uh, oscillator startup timer. These signals are generated by using the hardware connection, which is shown in this block diagram. Apart from this, uh, there are conditions like Brownout reset, then WDT model. We'll discuss this in detail, as well as resetting is provided whenever the stack is overflow or it is underflow. So let us discuss the remaining conditions. The next very important uh, reset condition is brownout reset condition. The exam point of view say up look separate uh, question we expect kar sakte ho related to this uh, brownout condition. Actually, this is one of the reset conditions, but it is applicable whenever the supply voltage to the microcontroller is temporarily low. So 
this condition that is brownout condition occurs whenever whenever power level of microcontroller is temporarily low there is one configuration bit ye hum log learn karne wale isi video mein there are different configuration bits one of the configuration bit is b o r e n ye jo configuration bit hai by making use of this bit you can enable or disable this uh, brownout reset condition then the basic condition is whenever vdd goes below the certain threshold level ab dekho brownout reset se related ek threshold level hai that is vbor it is like vth what we discussed in pwrt so vbor is again one threshold level related to brownout reset if supply voltage or voltage given to microcontroller which is vdd goes below vbor then micro microcontroller resets it remains in the resetting condition till the vdd rises above vbor अब इससे रिलेटेड दो कंडीशन है ये पहले डिस्कस करते हैं हम लोग इफ पावर ऑफ टाइमर इज इनेबल्ड हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया वॉट इज पावर ऑफ टाइमर एंड वॉट द यूज ऑफ पीडब्ल्यू आर टी रिसेट कंडीशन सो इन द सेम थिंग इफ बीओ आर रिसेट कंडीशन इज ऑल्सो एक्टिवेटेड देन इफ पावर ऑफ टाइमर इज इनेबल्ड एंड वी डी डी इज ग्रेटर देन वी बी ओ आर देखो वी डी डी इज ग्रेटर देन वी बी ओ आर then microcontroller is reset for additional time period actually according to the resetting condition of this brownout uh, if vdd becomes more than vbor more than this value vbor then microcontroller should resume should start its normal operation but if power up timer is enabled then according to pwrt reset condition even if vdd becomes greater than vbor v Uh, BOR then microcontroller has to wait for some additional time period second condition if vdd is less than vbor hum logo ko pata hai if vdd becomes less than vbor then it will be reset according to this brownout condition aur us waqt power up timer is running then at that time power up timer is running then micro a uh, controller goes to brownout reset condition according to this because vdd is less than vbor aur us waqt power up timer bhi running condition mein hai then microcontroller causes brownout reset and it initiates power up timer kyunki power up timer running tha so it will initiate power up timer once the power up timer gets initiated microcontroller will be again in reset condition for additional time period now in every microcontroller there is built in brownout detect uh, circuit which is a hardware control circuit it continuously monitors the vdd rather fluctuations variations in the supply voltage during all the operations of a microcontroller so basically this brownout reset condition is applicable to overcome the fluctuations in the supply voltage now there are two types uh, to control this brownout uh, reset operations when is software controlled uh, that will be done by using this uh, configuration bits and we know that in case of reset control register that is arcon register there is one bit which is bor bar this bit gives an indication whether brownout reset has occurred or not then it can be well controlled by the hardware circuit that we have discussed just now yet another important uh, timer related to resetting condition is watched up timer it is basically used for resetting microcontroller as well as it is used to restart uh, the microcontroller in normal operating mode so for make resetting microcontroller or making a musi microcontroller return to the operating mode this watched up timer is used it is in built oscillator which is basically uh, providing a typical value of delay of 4 millisecond that is wdt watched up timer delay which is 4 millisecond and as i said it is a free running oscillator means jo oscillator pin hai osc1 and 2 uh, it is no way related to this oscillator pin even if this uh, crystal connected to this is not operating still this wdt timer that is watched up timer will be in operating mode so 
Another important characteristic is normally when WDT that is watchdog timer is in sleep mode then timeout occur and timeout occurs मतलब sleep mode का timing complete होने के बाद once after the sleep mode the timer timeout occurs then microcontroller wakes up and continues normal operation तो जैसे मैंने बताया resetting as well as it is restarting the microcontroller this watchdog timer is used WDT is related to time out. I mean, this indication you will get indication of WDT operation you will get from the T0 bit of Arcon register. So, whenever time out of WDT watchdog timer takes place, that means say after four milliseconds, this T0 bar bit of Arcon register. Yeah, we already discussed the reset control register. So. T0 bar bit of Arcon uh, register become 0 that means it is clear which indicates that timing out of WDT has occurred. It can be controlled by using first configuration bit. There is a configuration bit named WDTN. So by making use of this bit which can uh, we can make on and off of this WDT timer. That means WDT timer can be controlled or there is one typical register which is WDT uh, reset control register that is watchdog timer reset control register. In that register all the bits are unused except the last bit that is SWDTN bit. If this bit is 1 it indicates that WDT timer is on and if it is 0 it indicates WDT timer is off. The next part is rather important part is power down or power managed modes. Exam point of view, say, you question is steps expect kar sakte ho. Explain different types of power down modes or power managed modes. There are actually seven operating modes as far as this peak microcontroller is concerned, and all these operating modes are categorized into three major types. First is run mode, second ideal mode, and third is the sleep mode. As far as run mode and ideal mode, first two modes are concerned, again there are three subtypes. So let us discuss each mode. So first is run mode, usme pahila subtype hai, primary run mode or pre-run mode. It is the default mode after the microcontroller is reset and in this mode full power execution takes place. So it is full power execution mode. Then SEC run mode, secondary run mode, here the CPU and peripherals are clocked by making use of timer 1 oscillator, then it is operated, ye important sentence hai, dekho, ye do bits hai, these are the bits related to oscillator register, so if SCS1 and SCA0, these two bits are set to 0, 1, then this mode is operated. In this case, the main oscillator is shut down and timer 1 oscillator is switched on. It is basically a low power consumption mode. Rather third mode, it is RC run mode. In this case, CPU and peripherals are clocked or operated by using internal oscillator and the primary clock signal, that is main clock signal is shut down. Then it is applicable for the applications which are not highly time sensitive. If there is time sensitive user applications, then you use another mode. So these are the three uh, modes as far as these run modes are concerned. Second type is ideal mode. Again there are three subcategories. Pre-ideal mode or primary ideal mode. In this case, primary clock source is not disabled. Just in this first case, primary clock source disable karte te, that is main clock source in this case it is not disable so this type of mode is applicable whenever user is using some time sensitive applications then it is entered from pre-run mode and by executing sleep instruction matlab ye enter kaise karna hai to pre-run mode enter karne ke liye ye execute karte hai pre-run mode se and then uh, we have to execute the sleep instruction e sleep instruction hum log detail mein learn karne wale hai then secondary ideal mode in this case CPU is disabled and peripherals 
takes the power or operated by timer one oscillator. Then it is entered from secondary run mode, मतलब is से and by executing the sleep instruction like the earlier case. Third is RC ideal mode. In this case, CPU is disabled and peripherals are clocked from internal oscillator. It is basically controllable power conservation mode. Now the third type of mode, it is sleep mode. See, basically it it is the mode which is similar to the sleep mode of uh, TV sets, then sleep mode of uh, mobile uh, systems, and so on. It is used to reduce the power consumptions. As well as, it is set by executing sleep instruction. Whenever sleep instruction is executed, then the microcontroller goes into the power down mode. To wake up from the power down mode, I mean to again restart the microcontroller. Several methods are available. One of the commonly used method is this: use this signal that is MCLR signal. So this signal basically is resetting signal. It resets the microcontroller, and after that we need to enable interrupt bit. So if you enable interrupt bit, then from the sleep mode microcontroller can wake up. Actually, while making use of this sleep mode, you will have to write one infinity uh, loop program. So whenever infinity loop program is written, one timeout variable is set. To be having very large value. As the program starts executing, this value of timeout variable goes on reducing. If the user is not entering any command or not pressing any key, then in that case, timeout variable goes on reducing. Whenever, if whenever it reduces to zero, then the microcontroller goes into the sleep mode. But suppose timeout variable is uh, decreasing before reaching to zero, user Execute certain command, then again in the program, this timeout variable is set to be the original value, and again it starts reducing. So this is basically the sleep mode. Now the last part of this session is configuration bit setting. Actually, this is just introduction to configuration bit settings. In the next videos, wherever we will be using configuration bits, I will explain it in detail. So basically, these are the bits. That allows microcontroller to specify some aspects. मतलब whenever there is a power down or power up mode of microcontroller, these bits decide the mode in which the microcontroller is to be operated. So these bits are programmable. We can well change these bits as per the requirement. Once the device is programmed, there are table read instructions. Which are used to read these configuration bits, and accordingly, we can take a judgment that now the microcontroller will be operating in this particular mode. So, dear students, that's it for today's session. So, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.